Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Sorry there's been a little bit of a delay in getting videos out to you, but sometimes life gets in the way and life is still getting in the way. So why am I talking to you today? Well, I'm going on a trip and I'm going by plane. So my Tesla isn't coming with me, but it's gonna sit and it's gonna sit unplugged for six days. So what's gonna happen to my battery? Is it gonna drain while it's sitting here unplugged? Well, I'm gonna put that to the test and there are some settings that you can set to help you out. So your drain will be almost zero and I'm actually predicting it might be close to zero when I'm done if I do this right. So I'm gonna go and get started and by first showing you what settings I plan to turn on and we'll update you as we go. All right, before we get started, there are a couple of settings that you need to set in order to maximize your chances for success in minimizing power draw. Now, I did some experimentation thinking that I could just create a profile called airport and it would keep all the settings that I need so I could just quickly switch to airport. But unfortunately, it appears the settings that you need to change aren't impacted by any profile settings. So you have to go in and manually change that. So how do you do that? Well, you go into your settings by clicking the car and then safety, and you wanna scroll down. And the very first thing you wanna do is you wanna turn off sentry mode. Sentry mode is the probably the number one draw of power from your car when it is sitting there. Turn it off. Um, I understand that you're not gonna be able to monitor your car. You're not gonna have the protection of the dash cam and those types of things. But if you want to prevent power loss while your car is sitting for days at a time, turn your sentry mode off. The next thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom to the over, the cabin overheat protection settings. Now it is the winter time right now on the cusp of spring. Don't have to worry about it getting too hot, but if it's sitting out in the summertime for a long period of time and you want to prevent the car from cooling itself if it gets too warm, go ahead and turn that off. That is going to save you some settings as well. Now, the last setting that you need to make has nothing to do with the car. The last setting is you. You see, you when you're gone, you may have this craving to open the app and check your battery status don't don't do it don't touch the app every time you open the app it wakes up your car and when you wake up your car it draws power so don't do it resist the temptation to open the app and check your battery but because i have this youtube channel and for the sake of science I am going to do just what I told you not to do. On a daily basis, I am going to open the app and I am going to check the battery status really quickly, write down what it is and show you what it is. And we'll see over a period of days what happens. And hopefully the data is very boring, but I haven't done it yet. So let's see what happens. And I'm about ready to hit the road uh, to head to the airport. So we're gonna be good to go. So I am topping off as much as I can of the battery. I will check in and show you the rate that I am starting at. And then I will stop in from time to time to show you how I'm doing along the way. And then we'll catch up at the end to show you how things ended up. So come along for the ride. All right, we are getting ready to walk away from the car for six days. And right now we are sitting at exactly 70% charge on the battery. And we will check in on a daily basis and see what happens over time. All right, we have a quick update from the road. Left on a Friday, checked in on Saturday, 24 hours later, and my battery level went up from 70% to 71%. Didn't really go up, probably was just a difference in rounding from the app to the car. Checked in same time on Sunday. How much drop did we have after another 24 hours? Zero. We are still at 71% and holding. So we'll keep checking in until we get home. Well, it's been another 24 hours and we checked in on the car and this is becoming a very um, boring test. We're still at 71%, so we'll check in again tomorrow. So I'm actually back from my trip, but I give you another update based on what happened on Tuesday. Tuesday, I checked in with the app and exactly at the same time of day 
and 24 hours later, this is becoming a very boring video, uh, we are still at 70%. So I expect that if I were to leave things as is and stay for a very long time, I would just basically have the car in hold at 70%, which shows that this car, when you turn off sentry mode and you do the things that I suggested, will just be fine. You can leave it as long as you want to leave it. So in order to provide a little more interest to this video, on that day, on Tuesday, I turned on sentry mode for the rest of my trip. So I had about 42 hours between when I turned it on on Tuesday to when I was going to be driving the car. And we're going to see what did sentry mode do from when I turned it on on Tuesday afternoon to when I get home? Well, the first update is on Wednesday at 2 p.m. before I came back on my trip, I checked in and it did drop. We went from 70% down to 61%. That's a 9% drop in a 24 hour period of time just by having sentry mode on. And when you have sentry mode on, the car is more or less awake. It's monitoring the camera systems. I had no events, but it did drain the battery and it will drain the battery if you leave sentry mode on. So from Wednesday afternoon to when I returned home and I then slept and then got up and went to work, left sentry mode that entire time on um, over those additional 18 hours, we went down another 5%. So in the 42 hours that I left sentry mode on, we dropped 14% in charge or basically down to 56% from where we started at 70. So if I were have been gone longer, it would have continued to drop. And by my math, it's about 0.3% per hour that sentry mode is enabled. So two things, two stories here. If you want to leave sentry mode on, you're going to have to be careful of your battery draw. If you're okay leaving sentry mode off, and I recommend that you do that if you're going to store your car, let it sit someplace for a long period of time, turn the sentry mode off and your car is going to be just fine a week later, two weeks later, three weeks later, depending on how long you needed to let it sit. So that's my brief experiment on how I let my car sit and what it did. Hopefully you found this of interest. So if you're having to go to the airport and let your car sit unplugged for a week, you don't need to worry about it. Just turn off sentry mode and go. And don't check in on that app like I did, because every time you do check in, it does wake up the car a little bit. But from what I can tell, I checked in once a day, didn't seem to be doing much. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, always like and subscribe, and we'll catch you later on the next video.